All right, right on folks, John Crane here in the shop. And what I got today is a gas cooktop. And what I wanna show you is how to convert this from natural gas to liquid propane or vice versa. You could use this tutorial to change from liquid propane over to natural gas. It all has to do with changing out the size of the orifice under each one of these burners. Now these orifices has a little hole and for natural gas, the hole is bigger, it lets out more gas. For liquid propane, the hole is a little bit smaller, it lets out less gas. So right now this stove top is set up for natural gas. I'm gonna switch it over to liquid propane. All right, let's get into it and I'll show you how I do the conversion. All right, the cooktop I'm doing this on is a Bosch, but this conversion will work for most other cooktops. So first things first, let's take off the steel grates. All right, next we're gonna pop these off. And we're also gonna clean all these up. I'm gonna do a little wire wheel deal on these. Okay, next we're gonna pop these guys off. All these off. The gas orifice is down in the center of each one of these burners. All right, so if we take a closer look here, we look in the center one here, see that? That is a brass orifice there with that hole. This is a big burner, so the hole is a little bit bigger. You see if we go over here to this one in the back right, you can see how small the hole is because this is a smaller burner, less heat. Now, a lot of times if you buy a cooktop new, it might come already set up for natural gas. And at the same time, they might give you a little bag of these to convert it to liquid propane or vice versa. In this case, this is, a, this is a used cooktop. I do not have the extra orifices to convert this to liquid propane, so I ordered some on Amazon. Also, here's another good tip here. We're gonna flip this stove top over and we're gonna look at this name tag here. All right, this tag right here is what we're after. Now, what this gives us is the size of the orifice in millimeters. So you can see here, left front burner, it gives you the BTUs, so you want similar BTUs. But here, see for the natural gas, the orifice size is 1.30. For liquid propane, for the same BTUs, it's 0.88, right? So we wanna change out this 1.30 to 0.88. And so it gives you the size for all these, left front, left rear, right front, we go over to this side, right rear and the center. So this is great that it gives you the size here. So I ordered some new orifices on Amazon. I'll put that link in the description. So now we're gonna swap these out. Some of them are close in size and some of them I'm gonna drill out to the right size and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so from that chart on the back of the stove, I have written down the right size orifice for the liquid propane. So here in the back right, 0.88 millimeter is what they're asking for. Now the conversion here over to Imperial is 0.0346. Now I've also written down the correct size drill bit for that size hole which is a number 65. Now I did that for each of these burners. I'm gonna show you here how I got there. So if you look here, we have 6.65 millimeter and we wanna convert that. So we go to our decimal chart here. Here's a little Starrett chart, 0.65 millimeters here, the decimal equivalent 0.025. Five, six, and then if we go and we look on this chart here, so if we look right here, 0 0.0250, 0 0.0260, it falls right in between a 72 and a 71 drill bit. So I think on this, I'm gonna actually go with the number 71 drill bit, and that will give me the correct size hole on the orifice. All right, this is what I ordered up here on Amazon. This is very cheap. It's only 14 bucks and they send you a variety pack of these orifices. So you get something close to what you need and you swap it out. I'll show you one of these up close. So this is what we're looking at. 
So it's got a hole in the center. It's threaded on the bottom. So if we look at this one close up, it says 084. So that's just under, like this one back here is 0.88. This is 0.84. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit with a number 65 drill bit, run it through here, and I will swap this out for this orifice right here in the back. What you want is a seven millimeter socket here on a little handle. You see the seven millimeter fits right on there. And we're gonna unscrew this guy here in the back. All right, here is the old orifice for the natural gas. All right, so if we come over here to the drill box here, these are the two indexes that we want. See this little tiny index has drills 61 through 80. Also, this guy right here is one through 60. I think we need a size 57 or something out of this. All right, again, we're starting with this one here in the back, 0 0.0346. And if we look right on here, 0 0.0350 is a number 65 drill bit. So we're gonna open up our little set right here. Look how tiny these guys are in here. And we are going to pull out a number 65. So let's see, that's this guy right here, 65. And you can put this in a little Starrett pin vise, or I have this little drill chuck here that I use by hand. So let's see, let's open this up, slide in our drill bit. And we're gonna lock that down. Okay, so now carefully by hand, and I can drill this out by hand just with this bit right here. And I'm just spinning this carefully by hand. It should, yeah, see that's cutting nicely. That's going right through that. No problem. Maybe you can see there's some tiny chips of brass there right on the tip of that drill bit. So let's just clear this out. And there we go. We got that one drilled out to a number 65 drill bit. I'm just gonna take a little air. I'm gonna take the air nozzle here and just blow th through that a little bit. Make sure there's no brass chips inside there. All right, now we're gonna take this and insert this into our socket. You see on these, the ones that I bought on Amazon, it has a little ring around the edge here. And I think that's so it traps it into the socket. So when you hold it upside down like this, it doesn't drop out. So now we're gonna take our orifice, our newly sized orifice, and put it right in its spot here. And then we're gonna move to the next one. So in the case of this stove top, these two burners are the same and these two burners are the same. So I'll do this one right here. I can keep the drill bit set up the same way. I'll get the 84 and then I'm gonna drill this out with a number 65 drill bit. You can see on the bottom side of this, it is conical shaped on the bottom. Might be easier to start the drill bit on the bottom side because it has that conical shape inside. All right, we'll go in with our number seven, seven millimeter. Break that old orifice free. Take the new one, pop it in there. And just like that, and then I'm gonna change out the rest of these. And there's another important step. You also have to change the regulator on the stove for liquid propane. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. I will put a link to those little drill bits in the description. You can buy a set for yourself.
All right, now that we've got all the orifices changed out to the right sizes, now we have to change the regulator here. So if you look at these regulators, a lot of times right here, see it will say natural gas, six inches, liquid propane, 10 inches. That's six inches of water column, 10 inches of water column. That's how they measure how much pressure this is putting out. Now to change this from natural gas to liquid propane, what we wanna do is take this little cap off. So get your wrench, right? Spin this guy off and you'll see right here on the bottom, you see this plastic deal right here? You see this is natural pointing down and let's see if we can look in there close. See where it says LP? What we wanna do is we wanna pull this out of the cap, flip it around and then screw this back in. So let's see, this just snaps in there. So see this? There's a little detent there in the bottom and we wanna snap this into that spot. All right, you see this now? It has this washer on the downside and says LP there. What that is gonna do is it's gonna push against the spring. It's gonna create a little bit more pressure. I wanna screw this on here. And now this is set up for liquid propane. All right, if you look on these regulators, you'll see that there is an arrow going this way here. So we want the incoming gas going into this side. So I'm just gonna clamp this in the vise. What I'm using here is this yellow tape this is for gas line, see yellow gas line tape here. And then at the same time, we we'll always wanna go clockwise. You always wanna go clockwise with the tape. So when you're threading this in, you're reinforcing that as it tightens. I, this is an aluminum body. You don't want to put so much pressure that you crack anything. And on the bottom side, this is where the pipe comes out for the gas line. Now spin our, our regulator on here. A very important step after you get this stove hooked up in the house, a spray bottle with a little bit of soapy water after you got the gas hooked up. Spray this around all the fittings. Make sure you don't see any bubbling. You don't want a gas leak. You see here, I've just got a little tank here with a regulator hooked up right to our cooktop here so I can test this here in the shop. I put a little cord end on here just to make sure our igniters are working nice. And let's try our back left right here. Let the gas work through a little bit. There we go. Seems like that's working real nice. Let's turn this one on. Yeah, there we go. Looks like a nice, a nice flame, nice blue flame. Let's try this center one here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but I'm getting a nice flame off of that center burner. Again, at first it burns off a little bit of the oxygen, turns into a nice blue flame. That's what we're looking for. All right, that is it for the conversion for natural gas to propane. You can see how easy that is to do vice versa, right? All you have to do is put in the right size orifice for natural gas if you wanna do it the other way around. Now that I, I got this all working nicely, now I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna clean up this cooktop some. I'm gonna wire brush these guys a little bit, give them a, a nice clean up, clean up all these other parts so this is looking good wipe this down with some scotch bright maybe try to get out some of these scratches in this stainless steel
just a quick hit with some vinegar. All right, right on folks, there you go. Natural gas to propane conversion. This is how it's done. Hopefully this helps you out on your project. Or maybe you're just curious about how things work like I am. I'm always taking things apart, figuring out how things work. I think it's pretty cool. All right, right on. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you all soon. All right, right on. Oh, and I almost forgot. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're feeling generous there. And I also want to check in to see if you got the memo on those TPS reports. All right. See you soon. Watch your top knot.